Hey guys, this is Brendan Marks from the Charlotte Observer. I'm here at Bank of America Stadium, which coincidentally is the place the Panthers haven't won a game since November of last year. And that continued on Thursday night with their loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Thursday night by a score of 20 to 14. And, and there's no way to sugarcoat this offensive performance. Awful, terrible, whatever adjective you want to use, it has to come from that vein because there's no other way to explain the reason the Panthers lost the game tonight. Defensively, they were able to hold the Bucs to 20 points. Uh, you know, the defense is all over the field, forced a number of long third, you know, 20 yards or so. Uh, there's just really no other explanation beyond the offense. And basically, when we went and spoke to Cam Newton, he took most of the blame on himself. You're not going to hear no type of reasons why tonight didn't go as planned. I have to be better. No matter what physical condition I'm in, no matter what foot, shoulder, I ain't get the job done tonight, man, and it's, and it's frustrating. I wish I could say something other than that, but, you know, that's that's the facts. Other than Cam Newton taking some of the blame himself, we went and spoke to safety Trey Boston. One of the things that he said that was most interesting was there's an energy about this team that just hasn't been here before, and Trey would know better than anyone considering he was here during the Panthers' 2015 Super Bowl season. Well, I think there's a, you know, identity and culture what we're used to. Uh, I think there's guys who uh, are on the bus, um, but I think – uh, around the whole team, uh, we need to do a better job of coming together, playing as one, um, having a swagger about ourselves. Um, just knowing when you get out the field, you're gonna dominate. Right? Just, just literally, like feeling the feeling of dominating a man, taking a man's will, and wanting to do it every time you step on that field. Um, so we we got to do a better job. Considering everything that happened tonight, where do the Panthers currently stand, and and where do they go from here? Luckily, because this was a Thursday night game, the team has the weekend as a little extra recovery period, which they certainly need right now. But long term, looking at this. It's very easy to be critical, but again, the, the Panthers players do have a good point when they say it is only the second game of 16. They do have 14 more opportunities, but clearly this is a really troubling trend for a team that had playoff aspirations and has an aging team. This was a core that was built to make it to the Super Bowl, and currently as they stand at 0-2, they're not looking like they're trending in that direction. If you guys like what we have to say about the Carolina Panthers, please consider subscribing, supporting our local journalism. Go to charlotteobserver.com. We have a sports pass option that gets you unlimited Panthers coverage as well as to all North Carolina sports. Uh, please check it out. Thanks so much guys.